Hello everyone. Nice to meet you. My name is William. I'm an embedded system engineer and live in Korea. Uh, today I am very happy because I released the uh, ThreadX CMSIS RQS API uh, to yours. Uh, honestly, I finished this work one week, almost five days ago, like this logo, but uh, it takes some time to preparing the this video because I want to explain more details thing. So I check how I can take a video and something like that kind of thing to support thing in knowledge. So now I can release the this video to yours. Anyway, uh, until now, the, a lot of vendor, chip vendor, or some people already released the ThreadX itself. For example, Microsoft already released the ThreadX to the everyone. Then, what I released to yours today is uh, something different with the ThreadX itself. I use the CMSIS RQS API. Uh, about the CMSIS, I can explain more detailed things. Honestly, CMSIS itself is a uh, standard, software standard is, uh, that was made by the ARM company. Uh, the purpose is a vendor independent abstraction layer for microcontroller, especially Cortex series, uh, use this kind of one. So, if you make your application based on the CMSIS, you can use any kind of RTOS. About the CMSI itself, the Kale explains more detail about this. So, uh, we can check about case documentation. Uh, Kale uh, explained the RQS or something like that. Especially the <coughs> Kale is a compiler vendor, right? And they provide, the, provide and so sell their compiler and their RQS. Their RQS name is RTX. The RTX is very good and yeah really good one and also they uh, can provide the cmsis based on rtx and you can change the rtx with the, uh, your own rtos or any kind of rtos if we're using that architecture uh, it's consider consists of this kind of way. For example, real-time kernel can be used any kind of RTOS, KS RTX, or Microsoft ThreadX, or Amazon's pre-RTOS. Any kind of RTOS can be located in this layer. And ARM and KL define the CMSIS RTOS API. This API wrapping the real time kernel. So, if the programmer make proper CMSIS RQS API, then the developer does not know about the RQS itself. Developer only only developer developer can develop their application based on the CMSIS RQS. In this case, the developer is uh, take a good advantage. For example, until today, you using the uh, Amazon's pre RQS, but tomorrow you can change to the Microsoft ThreadX. And this is very easy way. I will show uh, my code first. Then you can understand why it is so easy one. 
for example, this is a uh, uh, hierarchy of the like source code, and on my case, I using the STM thirty two Apple four o seven processor, and you can easily check about this one. My code is. Uh, Wow, is there some delay, right? It's a delay or a task die? Don't know. Oh, system is not die yet. I'm going to put you in the STS CMSI OS. In this case, you should check this part. But my code does not check this one. That means uh, I did not use ST CMSIS RTOS API at all. And I only use my own one. But I make a similar hardware architecture because uh, people want to use a similar one. But uh, normally people using the pre RTOS in here, but uh, here, but I change it to the ZDX and provide CMSIS RTOS API in this layer. So if you're watching my code, The part is uh, defined the uh, level or something like that. I don't know, but uh, this is uh, following the CMSIS RTOS API. So you don't need to know the what kind of kernel is operator, or what kind of kernel is running, or something like that. I use the ThreadX API, but it, was uh, lapping by the CMSI Lepper API. And this is does not lapping itself. For example, on my case, uh, every thread uh, for example, the thread X has uh, some weakness part because it's if you learn to ThreadX, you should define everything by yourself. For example, if you want to communicate with other thread, or something you want to receive some signal from other thread, there is no defined thread itself in ThreadX. But if you use my porting program, lepper function, then you don't need about the consider that kind of thing. You just call the create thread and just call the signal function itself. For example, I show my code itself, very native layer. Uh, my code is uh, based on the ThreadX demo soft application. But I change and I add some more function for example, mail or something like that kind of things, I also add. And also, I add some software timer function. So you can use every function in the CMSIS, CMSIS RTOS. So, and uh, this is a standard Define of the ThreadX. And this POM is uh, based on the CMSIS POM. So you just use uh, timer create and uh, 
pre create or message create, semaphore create, something like that, then you can use everything when you want. And this is a prone example. So you can check each operation. Is it correct or not? I also add this application too. I will show the demo to yours. Okay. First, we need to compile. Yeah, it's good. Going on. And just run on my board. And we can check the running operation. Yep. Yeah. From here, the third X is running. And software timer run. Yeah. One short timer. And also thread, thread zero and thread five is communicate with a signal. And thread eight and thread nine is to communicate each other through the mail. And thread one and thread two also communicate through the message or something like that architecture. So you can see that everything is operate without problem. Right? I released this code and everything on the GitHub. So you can download and you can also enjoy all my code. There is no restriction. And uh, uh, there is, uh, this code is uh, basically, ThreadX itself basically is uh, open source by the Microsoft. And they provide ThreadX for their IoT. And I will develop the full IoT system based on ThreadX and Microsoft Azure, Azure. And I'll open all my code to yours. And also, if you need a technical support, it's a free or paid way or something like that, any kind of thing, I can support you. But yeah, you should download my code first and then decide to uh, my support, yeah, if you need, then I can even freely support to yours. Yeah. And honestly, the why I why I will provide free technical support to yours is uh, I want to spread the thread X is more widely compared with pre-RTOS. Pre and I also want to, you will be friendly with the ThreadX. And soon, I will also putting the NetX Duo 2 on the ThreadX. And then you can easily can communicate with the other internet and also you can communicate to the uh, cloud system based on the your chip and theoretically the thread x can be put it on the cortex m02 but i only has a cortex m4 board in my private so i use that one but anyway, if you need any kind of processor or any kind of the technical support, then only just send me a mail. Then I will decide to support or not. But anyway, basically I will try to do yeah, and also yeah, each more what I want. Anyway, you can 
I'll note my code and you can check my code too. Full source code I am already on note. Yeah. And next time the I will explain about the CMSIS itself. For example, ST provides CMSIS RTOS API. But problem is this. ST's CMSIS putting is not so fantastic or not so good because the how how I can how we can know about that? Arm and Kale already released the the test shoot. If you run the test shoot, then you can find out the CMSIS porting is a good or not. Honestly, the ThreadX has uh, some issue about that kind of pro process. That's not my fault. Uh, the technical issue is based on the Microsoft release of the ThreadX. So before solving that issue, the KLN arms test shoot cannot run on the ThreadX. But pre uh, I can show my putting to yours because I already finished all the learning, but ST implementation doesn't. ST implementation is, uh, I, I will show, but does not follow the uh, real the implementation of the CMSS, CMSIS RTOS API. So if you're using the ST1, there will be some limitation, but that's not critical one. If you want to test programming, yeah, you can do, but uh, in the really deep level, you can meet uh, some issue. Mm. If you do not understand the, how you can program itself. Mm. So you should know about the deep side. Mm. I'll show the ST issue and the NXP does not provide CMSIS RTOS API at all. But they did provide the pre RTOS is a very low level. And I don't like that kind of way. Anyway, the maybe NXP is very busy or something like that. And there are no engineer to supporting the that kind of thing, something like that. Policy issue. Yeah, maybe exist. Maybe exist. And TI, TI is uh, provide piece thread form. They provide piece thread API, but under the wrapper function, they use uh, pre RTOS. But I wanted to introduce the ThreadX to yours because ThreadX also has a very good things, some point of view, and Especially the automotive, they already passed the ISO 26262 standard. So, the automotive manufacturer or developer guys can be used the ZX without consideration of safety or something like that. Yeah, so it's a very good chance to developing your application on ZX. Yeah, I want to help that kind of guys. So if you need any question or if you have if you have any question or if you need any kind of technical support, then send me a mail. And don't forget to click that red subscribe button and give me some up. Thank you. See you soon.